What is up, guys? Welcome to a quick review of the brand new Disney Dreamlight Star Path. This is Disney Park Star Path. It's for generations. Disney parks have welcomed visitors of all ages, inviting them to immerse themselves in the magic of Disney. They are places where people create magical memories and become part of the story where you can go for a spin in a cup or take a flight with Dumbo. My gosh, am I in love with this pack. So this pack released like 45 days ago. I know it's the pack's almost done, but I'm blown away by the content. I spent some time unlocking all the items within the star path, and I just wanted to provide my, uh, my review of it. It's honestly, to be clear, my favorite star path yet. I think all the content in it is so unique. You can just see in the background of what I was able to do with just a couple of the items specifically in the star path. We obviously added with this was that balloon feature, which isn't star path exclusive, but I love it. And then you have those two poles behind there. And let's just start walking into this little area I designed to show off some of the items. So as you walk in, you have beautiful music. And one of the things I really love about these uh, these balloons here is you can walk under them. And I know you're like, Josh, come on. I feel like sometimes they put these items in and you can't build around it or walk under them. Or even in this case, I have a path underneath them partially, which I just love. So you come in, you have those podiums here, which are new to this pack. I did order a second one from Scrooge. So if you're looking for like a duplicate Ferris wheel or park ride, you can go buy another one from Scrooge. And you can see that there. And then as you go in, you have the trash cans, which is perfect because they look exactly like Disney trash cans. I know it's such a simple thing, but I think I had such a nice touch to the Disney world. And then over here, you obviously have this middle little garden here. Love that. And little dragon uh, from Fantasia, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Let me know. I think that's from Fantasia. Over here, you obviously have this lovely stand. I wish you could engage with it somehow. Like I wish maybe you could pick something up and put it on your head and then put it back or something like that. It'd be so cute, but I love the stand. I think it's so cute. I think it looks really nice. It has its own little aesthetic. So huge fan over here. Of course you have a bench, which is nice. It's the bench obviously from the, uh, from the pat from the world and, and from the star path. So super cute. The Dumbo ride. My gosh, look at that. It would be awesome if you could actually ride it, but also, I get it. I I guess they don't have to ride it. You can even interact with it, though. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. Yeah, I wish you could get on it, but at least you can interact with it. I got to be honest. I didn't realize you could interact with it till right this second. But look, man. Oh, love it. And as you come over here, you can see a set of balloons. Look at how cute these balloons are. There's Tinkerbell balloons. Of course, those are Mickey balloons. That's a Mickey inside another balloon. Then a Lion King balloon. Look at that. And then Wally, of course, looking great. Over here, you have, you interact with all these? I had no idea. You have your teacups, which is very infamous at the Disney World, those teacups. Really cute. Once again, looks awesome. Interact with it. And of course, as you come over here, you have the beautiful Ferris wheel. Uh, all them, all each Ferris wheel have its own Disney character on it. Like that's Mike Wazowski. That's, let's skip that one. We'll come back to it. That's Woody from Toy Story. Who is that? I can't remember who that is. That's Wally. That's uh, Monsters, Inc. I can't remember his name. Remy? What's his name? Oh, can't remember his name. Buzz Lightyear. And then I wonder, can you interact? Oh, you can interact with this one too. Can't go on it though, but so cute. Anyways, I think one of the also really funny, cute things about this is it also recognizes that maybe there's a Disney world in the world of Disney. Like, are these characters also famous in their own world? Are is back in the Disney world? They're like, ah, oh, y'all know Dumbo? I don't know, maybe. But part of this pack is not only these items. Of course, there are a few other additions. One is this squirrel, which I actually don't like. <laughs> Funny enough, the squirrel is probably my least favorite item in the pack. It's it's just not enough. So like in other packs, you had obviously for winter, you had Halloween. I don't, I don't think the Incredibles is one of them. You had the crocodile. Uh, you had the 
gentle rabbit, but then you had magical squirrel, and I don't think I'm all that impressed. I'm not sure if he's a reference to like a famous Sunday, a famous dessert at Disney. I actually don't know the answer to that. So let me know. But not not horribly impressed with this guy. I think it's it's a little underselling it for me. But that's okay. And then we also have a new outfit for both Donald and Goofy as part of the pack, as you can see right here. Here is Donald's outfit where he's kind of like a safari guy. Love this. So cute. Let me just give him so he can be happy. Here's some carrots. But look at him. Look at his outfit. I like that you can customize each character. I think it's actually pretty cute. It's a cute little addition to the game. And then let's head down here and let's go find Goofy real quick. You know what I can do? Eat this creamy soup and then we can go sprint over to Goofy, who I believe is at, yeah, he's at Remy's place. Let's go. And Goofy kind of looks like a train conductor in his outfit, which is very funny. Goofy, where's your outfit? I didn't take your outfit off, Goofy. Put your outfit back on. Goofy. Goof? Where'd he go? <laughs> I made Goofy Lee. Oh. Is he here now? No? Okay. Let me out. Oh. No, the game doesn't like when you change their outfits in the place. Really? Huh, that's weird. That's a weird little glitch for you. Hey, if you guys want to glitch, do that. Change their outfits while you're inside a place. Oh, well. Let's look at the rest of the items in the star path, though. So, part of the... Items, of course, were a few outfits. So this lovely shirt that you can see, a tie-dyed shirt, and then the fun Mickey hat. It's a little bucket hat. But I actually, I have a different shirt I liked more out of the pack. It is, it's actually considered a jacket, sorry, a coat. And it's this one. The reason I like this one so much, and I know it's hard to see here, but if you scroll in just a little bit, you can see, look at these pins. So if, if you're a big Disney fan, you know that trading pins is a really popular thing to do while you're at Disney. And as you can see here, he has been collecting pins on his little Disney lanyard, and I absolutely love that. I think it is adorable. Once again, it fits that park theme that they're trying to go for. They're trying to go for a Disney park, like you're going to the park, which is so cute. And I really like that. Of course, on the back, you have the infamous... Uh, Magic Kingdom Castle, which is really cute as well. From there, you of course get the uh, the bracelet, which is kind of like the fast pass of Disney. Um, it's a really cute item. I have been seeing it a lot on my TikTok feed, funny enough, and it's for the uh, the bounty board in the Disney World. I would die to have Star Wars in this, mind you. I hope there's a Star Wars update in the future. Uh, that would that make me so happy but as you can see really cute bracelet i think you scan that to get in maybe to the disney park and then of course you have the disney hat that you guys can see right there um this was a bucket hat added with it of course and then there was one other one which are these ears which honestly once again very cute so it has the disney dreamlight kind of stars on there and they also have the balloons, the mini balloons with, uh, I guess, Mickey balloons, technically, uh, inside the balloons to kind of mimic the balloons you can buy at the park. Last but not least, you have the little makeup there, which is cute. It's it's fine. I'm not, I'm never blown away by it, but it's all right. It looks good. It looks good. And I was actually really happy with this pack. So I spent quite a bit of time on the pack, of course, but I was able to get it done in a reasonable amount of time, which is good. And overall, the entire pack is just knocks it out of the park. It's exactly what I like to see. And as you go through it, of course, you have Magic Kingdom. Over here is a motif of Epcot, which is just so cute to actually have that included in this. I kind of wish we could have gotten that dome. That's not Space Mountain. What is that? Mission Space? I believe that's Mission Space. And as soon as you walk into Epcot, if you've ever been, right in front of you is this huge dome that you can go in and there's a ride in there. And that's like kind of the infamous thing for Epcot. Just like how the castle's infamous for Magic Kingdom, the dome is infamous for Epcot. And as you go over, I think this is probably Lion King, maybe. I, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's Lion King. Of course, I believe this is the Tower of Terror, which you go up and then get dropped 
I think that's the Tower of Terror. Of course, this is just the balloon. I actually don't know what this is. Maybe just a celebration for the uh, the event. That's mini as a donut. I, is that a dessert they have there, maybe? I actually don't know the answer to that. Lemon, oh, not lemonade. I'm sorry. That's a delicious bevy. Delicious beverage. Obviously, oh, mutton. I I vividly remember fighting with my parents over getting one of these. Then I got it, and I absolutely hated it. But I'm sure it's good now. I don't know. I was a kid. I was like 13, ages ago. Of course, a waffle. And then Little Mermaid ride. Don't know what this is. And then I didn't know they own Tron, but I guess they do. Anyways, guys, that's all the items in the pack. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like Disney Dreamlike content, I might be the channel for you. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe as well. There'll also be a link to the playlist in the description. I have over 80 episodes, usually over 20 minutes a piece. So like, what's that? Over 30 hours of content? Yeah, around 30 hours of content. So if you guys want to watch some Disney Dreamlight stuff, go over to my channel and check it out. Anyways, thank you everyone so much for the support and viewership. If you guys are enjoying the content, do those things. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.